Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you'll meet my very active patient. He walks many steps daily and all his activities are aggravating his ingrown nails. In addition, he has a blood nail that needs to be cleaned out. Stay tuned till the end when I clean out his blood nail. How you doing, John? Great. Okay, good. So John's having a little bit of ingrown pain here, so we're gonna clean this out a little bit more carefully. And he was asking me about this toe. Did this anything happen to this toe? Did you bump it anywhere? No. Yeah, usually it's like a blood. You hit it somewhere and then blood gets underneath. Because even at night in this cold weather, I wear socks to bed. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John was just telling me that he doesn't like rain or the cold weather. I just think you've had too much rain. Huh? Supposed to get more rain this afternoon. Oh, really? Uh oh. I know. It's tonight and early tomorrow morning. I know. I'm, I'm from Guam, you know, I like it, sunny and. Those, yeah, those atmospheric river things, too. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is the most rain I've seen in a while. It certainly is. Yeah, it seems like every week there's rain. I heard, though, come August, they say it's going to be a La Nina next year. Oh, is that right? Oh, I've heard that before. I don't know how they know that far ahead. Well, they, they know some stuff. Well, they're not that accurate with the weather these yeah. days. <laughs> all, I don't know how. And all those rivers just f flowing up in the L.A. area. Oh, is that right? Oh, I didn't yeah. see that. And down San Clemente, the houses that are on a high cliff, or the, the cliffs are falling. I know, it's dangerous. And that railroad track that goes, just, I guess, down to San Diego, that's out of use because it fell down on the tracks. Oh, is that right? Oh. Is that train for the people? Yeah. Or, or really? Yeah. There's, so there's no train there? No, yeah, no for, not for the time being. Oh, wow. That's kind of hard, yeah. Yeah, who knows, but it's definitely much rain for sure. Do you feel this? It's a little ingrown here. I'm just kind of cleaning underneath it. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Oh, sensitive. We gotta get this before it gets infected, you know? We've been there before, huh, John? Yeah. I had that cortisone shot a couple of, a couple of I don't know, let's say six weeks or so ago. Oh, where? You gave it to me, or the when I came here in that day. You didn't actually give it, it's funnier than the guys there. Uh huh, where? For the heel? Yeah. Oh, oh. How did it help? Uh, it, it's helped quite a bit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to get another pair of shoes on, see. Uh -huh. I mean, these I just bought last July. Oh, really? But you walk quite a bit, though. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. You always, you're, you're a walker. I know that. You used to walk a lot more. You said walk in the street, and I do. It seems like that's just as hard as a sidewalk. But... Yeah. Well, if you walk all the time like you, you need to replace it like every six months. That's what they say. If you're a really active person. So it's about time, you know. I know it's pretty quick, but since July, so it's been like, like nine months. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's about seven months, yeah? It's about that time and now. I've had this same type of shoe mm. uh, for 50 years or more, so. Oh, really? It's, it's been a good shoe. Did they change the design or anything? Uh, same? I, I don't know that. I'll go back and talk to her. Mm -hmm. but you, you feel good with it? What brand is it? It's what? What brand of the shoes is it? Uh, New Balance. Oh, New Balance. New Balance, good shoes. So you've been wearing it for 50 years? Or more. Oh, really? Wow. They've been around for a long time, huh? Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word blood nail in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, so this nail looks like you hit it and Looks like there's fungus in it. You're, uh -huh. using, you're using medicine, right? Mm -hmm. 
I haven't lately because no. Because this looks like you have blood underneath it here. So soaking and putting medication I recommend. You think it's a fungus? Yeah, it looks like it. Are, are any of those things advertised on TV anyway? <laughs> You know, fungus is not only the, the, the help by the topicals, but you have to heal your gut, you know. I don't know. Immune you, system. you gave me something for something, but I don't know what it was for fungus or not. Yeah. Well, for the... I haven't used it lately. Oh, really? Yeah, I think you should use it. And then I recommend fermented food, you know, fermented food. Do you eat any fermented food? Yeah, what's that? Like fermented food, like sauerkraut or pickles, oh, like yogurt. Uh, you know, I eat a lot of kimchi because I'm Korean. I eat and a lot of yogurt, but you do. Okay, well, the probiotics in the in those fermented food that's what kills your fungus in your gut. Seventy to eighty percent of your immune system is in your gut. If you don't have a good bacteria, then you won't have a good um, chance to fight this fungus. I have. Like blueberries and yogurt every night for dessert. No, you do, okay. But if you want to heal this fungus, then you may have to take a lot more like fermented food, like probiotics and things like that. You know? Does that feel better? Yeah. You know what I mean? So you need to have a lot more fermented food. Like I eat kimchi every night. I like a lot of kimchi because I like it and then a lot of people actually ferment their own food like from a vegetable or fruit and it's pretty easy to ferment you just put them in a jar and let the air out periodically and it ferments on its own and you just have a couple of big scoops every day and that really helps a lot you know and you're already out there you're, you're walking outside right so that's what really helps because Outside, there's a lot of bacteria outside, which is what we need, like in the nature. In the trees and all these places, they produce good, uh, good bacteria. We have about 40,000 different uh, species of uh, probiotics that we need in our gut. But we're not getting a whole lot of those because we're eating a lot of processed food. We don't go out in the nature too much. So I highly recommend people going out in the nature. Hug your trees, you know. Go walk barefooted, you know, in the, in the nature, you know. So that's when you get a lot of the good bacteria, and that's how we balance our gut and fight the fungus. So it's not as easy as just putting some medication on this nail, because that's what it's, it's a beginning, but it's not really enough to cure this fungus problem, which I see all the time. So I highly recommend fermented food, getting into the nature, and all those things. So you're already out there, so go, go on the nature. Do you, do you have any area where you can go into the trees and get some good air and hug the trees? Do you, is there any place? Maybe the park, park out there, you know? The, what's the name of the park close by? So those would be really good to go out and do that. Okay, John. Is that a picture of bleeding? No, it's not bleeding. Oh, it looks it's good. Red. Yeah, it's a little red there, but it's, I cleaned it all up. All right, John, thanks for allowing us to film you today. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, walking can cause your ingrown nails to become much worse. Sometimes you don't even know you have damaged your nail and made it bleed. You should check your feet after any kind of walk you do to ensure no damage is done without you knowing about it. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.